Okay, thank you very much for sitting down. No problem. And it's my honor. Yeah. I was I was with you a little bit last year, and yes. I had a great time when yes, I came. Yes, yes. Uh, you caught me in a really busy time of my life uh, <laughs> last year. So yeah. Monday nights I came for two hours yes. and really enjoyed myself, but I was always tired after very long days. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. anyway, um, I hope that we can get back together again officially. So. Yeah, yeah, we are together right now. I know, thanks for that, <laughs> I really appreciate it. Okay, so I'm really curious, and I, the reason I'm doing this is I, I feel like students, language students are always looking for new opportunities or should be looking for opportunities to right, yes. speak English as much as possible. Yes. And I, among many great ideas, I think starting some kind of a study group, a smaller study group or a larger study group is a great way for you to create an opportunity yes, instead yes. of waiting for one to come. Yeah. And so I'm really curious about what was the, what was the initial idea for you? What was the beginning of WCT? Uh, at first, when I came back from Canada, I was searching for what I should do in Korea. And I just met my, one of my friends and she took me to uh, some place. Just she wanted to show this place and it was in Seoul. And I was surprised by uh, many people speaking English in one place. And I was also surprised that they were paying kind of a lot of money to practice English there. So I was inspired of the place the first time and I searched that place a lot on the internet and I actually joined the place to learn how it works. And then I, yeah, that, that was my first uh, motivation to make this kind of group. And your, your first a attempt, I guess, I don't know if that's the right word, mm -hmm. your first effort into yes. this was also in Seoul. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I started my own uh, study group in Seoul first, but then it was too far from my house. That was a problem, main problem, because there were a lot of people in Seoul who wanted to practice English, and I was going to do it for free the first time, so I was expecting a lot of people. And people came, actually. And then The problem was uh, because it was too far, so I uh, ended up just doing it in front of my house. There was coffee shop, small coffee shop, and I just called people to come there to yeah, have a conversation together. Okay, how many how many days a week were you doing it at that time? At that time, I did it like once a week for the first time, yes. And there were like five to ten people came to the coffee shop to talk. But then every week, members were changed because it wasn't really a well-made and well-organized group, mm -hmm. so I guess they were kind of disappointed. Oh, really? The first time, yes. Oh, okay. Two important mm -hmm. questions, just yes, to yes. establish the timeline. Yes. Uh, what year was this when you did this, the first uh, time? First time, I remember that I made my neighbor cafe 2012, three years ago, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how long did you have it running up in Seoul? In at that Seoul, time. like for three months, I guess, yeah. So after a few months, then mm -hmm. you decided mm. you wanted to move closer to home. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's far. I don't think it's the best choice actually, because if I had been doing this one like in Seoul, I would be more successful maybe. But because my family is in Swan and my house is in Swan. So I couldn't help just doing it here. Um, okay. When you decided to do it for a second time, mm -hmm. you've obviously, you wanted to do it a little bit differently. What were yes. some things that you wanted uh, to change? At first, when I, hmm, when I did it in Suwon for, for the first time uh, in a coffee shop, I also I wanted to find my own job. I was looking for my job and I did this and that, a lot of things actually, but then I ended up like using my English ability to be my job. So uh, I opened my cram school, like 
at the main building of Dolby City. Right? And then, uh, because there are many English academies and like I didn't, I because I did, I didn't have any experience to teach English there at the time, mm -hmm. so it was it didn't work well. But then I got a place, right? Then I also had some people around me to practice English, so I did it at the same time, kind of. Right? My main job at the time was a uh, cram school teacher. And then my side job was having people here to practice English because I myself was also need to need to speak English too. So, okay. Yeah. What were your what were your initial kind of uh, like your initial vision for did you did you have some ambition for well this is going to grow up to oh, yeah. be mm -hmm. did you see foresee this place at that time I mean what what was your kind of uh, First, frankly speaking, I just made this group to have friends to talk with because I had no friends when I came back to Korea. All my friends was working in the company. They were too busy to hang out with me. So I, I couldn't just let them come here to hang out with me without any reason. So I, I told them to come here to learn or practice some English with me because I I was in Canada for four years, right? So I was gonna advertise myself to people mm -hmm. to to attract them here. Mm -hmm. And then after I see people coming here, I thought something else, like having more people and get some advantages from group of people. Like when we buy one product, it costs ten dollar, but if ten people buy it, it costs less, right? Like, to eight dollars or something. Mm -hmm. but then we're not talking about buying product. But I thought we could just go on a trip together with cheap price, or we could get this kind of place because we have a lot of people too, right? Mm -hmm. So that was kind of my vision. The more people, the more advantage. Then if I don't get that advantage, all people also can get that advantage. So okay, everyone can be happy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, cheaper discount yes. is always good. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, how, how has that been? How, how have you realized that? Have you, has it worked out that way so far? I mean, have you taken any trips together or? Oh, yeah, we have been uh, going on trips like a few times so far. For, I mean, for more than one day trip. Uh -huh. Then, uh, like whenever we have a person, a member who runs a restaurant or coffee shop, we visit it there to buy some product for them. Or we also advertise like a member's business here. We do some kind of sharing our businesses or things okay. to get some benefits. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. It's sort of people helping everybody. Yes. Uh, yes. Supporting yes. each other. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um. Has it all been smooth sailing? No, no, it wasn't actually. Okay, yeah. talk, I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Tell me about that. Okay, yeah. okay. At first, because it was very cheap, like, I charged them like, at first for free, but then after I opened my cram school, I had to pay rent, right? So I charged them like $30 a month for the first time. Then they could come in anytime they want, like, because I had to be in school to teach children. so. Because I'm there, any, anybody just can come and talk freely what they want. So there were full of people actually in the main building. Like there were, the place is not really big, right? But then there were 30 people, or like 30 to 50 people at once in one time. But then I couldn't get anything from, I mean, uh, economical way. I couldn't get much about... <laughs> You're giving it yeah, away, right? yeah. practically, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, I tried to uh, raise the membership fee, but then people, you know, when they pay little, then suddenly if it goes up, they disappoint, right? Yeah. So, I kind of gradually, like, raised the membership fee, mm -hmm. then people recognized that and they disappointed at me and they left 
most of them left like, at the time. Wow. Okay. Because of the membership, but because they, they don't, uh, they seem to care about my living as well. But in, when it comes to money, you know, it's totally different thing. They they don't have to. They are not willing to pay more for that business model at the time. So after I. Uh, after I raised my uh, membership fee, I also started to make some kind of curriculum and mm -hmm. some system, organized and professional system here. And then after a new member came here to see how it goes, they kind of liked it and they joined again. Like new members joined. The generation was changed totally. Good. So maybe this place is the start of my new system. Okay. As a, yes. a group leader of even one of your groups, yes. I know you have the lower level classes uh, yes, yes, typically, yes, right? Yes, yes. How do you approach planning the content for each, each lesson? Uh, for the contents, uh, so first I remind you of how I studied English first because I was, I, I couldn't speak English at all the first time too, mm -hmm. like them, mm -hmm. so, and then I just uh, tried to remember how I studied from the beginning, and I realized that I, I studied like some vocabularies when I was in school, and reading materials, I studied listening to, so I just tried to teach them what I learned at the first time. And then from all those I learned, I tried to pick some something up to just speak English. I just focused on speaking English here. So there were a lot of useless things we learned in Korean school. So I tried to avoid those things and I tried to let them know that what we learned something wrong in the school. So that what that attracted people actually. They, that's a good one. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's a good one. It's almost like everyone had the same teacher in some way. Yes. Because yes. mistakes, they tend to be the same yeah. nationally. Yes, you know? yes, yes. So that's a really a, a great yeah. Uh, yeah. I think angle. people like it. We're about to wrap up. Where can, if anyone wanted to find you on the internet, because I suspect some Koreans will listen to this as well. And okay. Where can people find you on the internet? On the internet, uh, you can just type wctstudy.com Then you will find my website And also you can just type uh, Suwon Myanmar Study, Myanmar Hair On Naver And you can find us easily Okay, mm. great And... Any parting words? Uh, well, I... It was very honored to say this kind of thing. It was my first time to say my history. I was also had a good time to look back what I've been through, and I kind of see how or where I should go right now to the future. And it was my good opportunity. Thank you. That's awesome. That's always awesome. good to explore the past. So, did you have yeah. any funny? Did you have any funny stories? Uh, uh, anything there, that stands out? There were a lot of funny stories actually, but right now what I come up with is I met my wife here. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Wow. <laughs> when, oh my goodness! Like I when, I, when I opened this WCT for the first time, she was kind of original member at the first time to sign up here, and I still remember that we had kind of interview to check her letter, right? Mm. Then at that time I never thought that she would become my wife mm. and now she's my wife. Oh, that's amazing. Amazing story actually. Yeah. <laughs> you were looking for friends and you found love, that's amazing. Yes, yes. Wow. Okay. And not only me, but there were a lot of couples made here. Not until, not, not to the marriage yet, but we were expecting some couple to get married too. So, it's uh, basically a community group and this kind of things happens a lot.
someone dumps someone, <laughs> someone likes someone, I don't know. Lose a member. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it happens a lot and it's fun all the time because whenever I see a person, now I can see if the person likes someone here or not. Like I can figure out like, if the guy or girl is looking for a boyfriend or girlfriend here. Have you done, have you tried to do any kind of like two minute date? I think, you know, when, yeah, we, when I came here that one time, it was like a two minute date almost. Exactly, yes, yes. We had a single party like last Christmas and there were too many people here that we had to rent another cafe wow. to do that. Oh, wow. But That's then awesome. the problem was people didn't know which kind of organized organization this is. They just thought this is just a company, yes, ah, yes. Okay. They never thought this is about English group. So, I, I, I don't want to do it anymore actually. <laughs> it was very tough because there are too many people coming. Yeah. I had to take care of all of them. But well, I, it wasn't actually for profit. So, it was kind of for advertising. They didn't really work well too. So I'm not gonna do that anymore. But people just naturally just come here to make friends and make couple. Okay, that happens naturally. And like we're having a monthly party too. Like we had a opening party here too, right? Mm -hmm. And then this Saturday we have some kind of seminar, who, like about an Australian guy who picks up his English in Australia from the first time. Then, I mean, from, from when he was middle school, he went there without any knowledge, but then he, he's now very fluent in English, and we are just listening to how he studied English there from the first place. Wow. We do that kind of things too. And then after that, we have dinner, because we can't just have less drink. We can't just say, it's weird, right? So we do something meaningful first, and then drink. Gotcha. Yeah, you guys like to drink. Yes, yeah, pe people like to. People like to not, drink. Not, not me. Thank you guys do. Yeah, yeah. You go home early. I go home you early. Go home early. Yeah. yeah. Um, good fun. Okay. Well, I wish you, as always, lots of luck. With Thank this. you. And Thank you so much. I think it's growing into something maybe you didn't expect even at that time. Maybe, maybe, yes. Yeah. I wish you could some something like this like next year too to see how it goes, right? Yeah, it'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah an update yes. for sure. Yes. Cool. Alright Ian, uh, thanks for all of your time and You're welcome. look forward to seeing you again. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Thank you. Yep, bye. Thank you. Wow. You're welcome. That was really <laughs> cool. What a great story, apparently. I think that will inspire a lot of people. Uh, you, maybe. I, <clears> hope, <throat> I hope so. I think one of the, the things with, with people is when, when they even think about doing something, one of the, you know, one of the major obstacles is, you know, I don't know how to start. I don't know, you know, I don't know, <clears throat> you know, do I need to have this great plan, you yeah, know, yeah. for this kind of thing, and, and I shouldn't start until I have a great plan. Yeah. Uh, I think it's really it's, it's a great example because you you didn't necessarily have a, a really strong plan at the start, but you no, sort of developed no, no. it along the way. It's called people and did nothing. That's why they didn't they didn't remain here. But we just uh, at the time I just thought they would come if I said I was in Canada for four years. That's that it. was it. Yeah, that was it. But that they, was the attraction. I guess they thought that my English was wasn't that good than they expected. So. Was a problem in the first place. You mentioned you, you went and you studied a little bit more. I, I think studied that's what you said. a lot more actually. A lot more. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I had to study a lot more to teach people. So what was the gap? How, so how long how long did you study between Gangnam and Suwon? So Gangnam and Suwon. How long? Well I have been studying for two years seriously from when I came back to Korea and then starting WCT. Okay. Before that I didn't study. I just studied for one year, for the first year of Canada. That was it. I didn't need to study more because I could buy product 
can I buy? Can I have beer? They gave me beer. Mm -hmm. There was nothing more to say about it. Survival. That. Yeah, for survival. Mm -hmm. But then, yeah, after I came back. Well, I guess if you came from survival, um,